Hello, friends and family of the human family. And here at the Gnostic Takeover, I want to give you a short update here that all is going well here and things are progressing on the front of the Notice of Liability approach and the intention for freedom is progressing. And I wanted to give a little bit of an update on what's happening here and what I mean by that progress is this. I got a letter. Can you see this? Verwaltungsgericht Wien. And I'm invited for a court case on the 29th of July this year. And yeah, that's the sort of prize that I get for all the work that I do is that you're now allowed to go to court. <laughs> it's not what you think you're going to get. However, everything's a stepping stone. Okay, you see, everything's a stepping stone toward the ultimate goal. And the ultimate goal is the intention I made last year. May 2020 to take back the planet. A megalomaniac? No, I actually figured out that you need to take things from the root cause of the problem and you've got a psychopathic uh, criminal class that want to take full ownership of the planet and I'll just tell them that I'm one individual, one sovereign being who's going to even risk his life and everything in order to just see them be taken down. And that's where it's got me. So I've got a court case. Yay! And I'm really looking forward to that. So what I do with something like this is that instead of going into some victim mode, oh, I've been campaigning now and... For one year, we organized a festival for freedom at the main square in Linz, and I was speaking there 45 times out of the 53 times that it took place. And all I get is that I'm treated like a criminal by this criminal system and these very evil people that are running it in the background. That's one choice one can take. There's always another choice one can take in a free will universe. And that's put to the test. So I'm going with what David Icke also says is life gives you your greatest gifts disguised as your worst nightmare. So the sequence of events to this is also interesting. So at the th on the 30th of May, the interior minister had a press conference on conspiracy theories. And I think it was page 39 about 5G, I get mentioned. But not, not per name, because pff, please don't let any people have a look at my channel, you know, and my material. But I was in the footnotes. This guy is talking about 5G being a military weapon. Yes, they admit it. Swiss Ray, the biggest um, um, re-insurance company, the insurance for insurances, okay, even admits that 5G is uninsurable. And when you've been listening to me, everything that is not insurable, everyone who's implementing it is privately liable. So that's the logic that I go by. And this is the next step. So yeah, I really like that because I've got six weeks time. I've been doing a lot of studying, okay, these past few days, taking notes and I'm revisiting some major important works. I've got my notebooks here. It's about 10 of them after, yeah, seven years. I think seven years ago, I started taking notebooks and taking notes before that. I used other ways of... Um, uh, sort of structuring the information that I was uh, taking on 
and I've been taking a lot of notes and revisiting Technocracy, the book by um, by Patrick Wood, and also going into the material from a great man I can also recommend to you, who is Cal Washington, from the Empower Movement. So I'm listening in on him again, refreshing the sort of principles, and yeah, I bet I will have a lot of fun. I've got six weeks time, and what I do with things like that, okay, when the system does this, okay, and from their mindset, they want to punish me, probably, for, oh my god, it comes now, for not wearing a muzzle at a demonstration. Well, what do you think I'm demonstrating against, okay? So you think I'm going to wear a muzzle. And if I were to pay any fine, okay, so this is relating, this court case is relating to a fine, or the fines that I didn't pay, well, they can choose from the 200 or more. Um, if I were to pay that, the system would be charging me on breathing oxygen. So that's pretty insane, okay? But would I use this, okay? So you've got the one path, the one path, that is the victim's path. The other path is the path of sovereignty. And what that does is escalate further. So the system comes at you and does this action and you're like, fine, I've been waiting for this. A guy loves a challenge and I really love that challenge. So you further escalate. I've contacted the Ikes and Iconic and I will do it anyway. So what I've got lined up, this also leads to helping all of you guys with your notice of liability, is I'm doing at least a four-part series, okay, whose name I don't know yet. A four-part series about the background story, okay, into how the psychopathic class tries to take over the world through regulations that are not laws and how that all ties in to the workings of the actual court system as it's run which is called merchant law lex mercatoria okay and commerce that is being done with human beings in those courts that are actually corporate courts that is the truth of what they are and that in actual fact human trafficking is far more prevalent and we're under a hypnotic spell and under control by a commerce system of law that most people don't understand and have not gotten deep into yet. So I've been doing a lot of work in this direction for years already. And now I'm in the alchemizing um, mode again. So I'll be taking in this four part series, I'll be taking a perspective also about history. Okay. And how this corporate law, okay, is actually international law and how that ties into internationally binding contracts like UN Agenda 2030, the new urban agenda, as well as the Paris, uh, the Paris Climate Agreement, as well as, okay, Agenda 21. And those are internationally binding contracts, okay, where this psychopathic class with with their um, gophers, have decided the course of the world. Their vision of a digital dystopia and digital totalitarianism and the full control over every single living being on this planet, which they did through, for example, an internationally binding contract according to corporate merchant law To impose that vision on the world and that ties into the whole 
liability thing also because did anyone ask you did anyone ask me if i share that vision of the world no so when i know that edward bernays wrote the book the engineering of consent and there's a long backstory into all of this what consent is i'll be going into all of that but if no one has asked you if you want this you better remove your consent okay and talk from a state of being as a sovereign being and tell them to stuff the digital dystopia you know where and that's me being nice and well, i'll be getting into sovereignty also and all sorts of things relating to the matrix and how the matrix works through this corporate merchant law i'll also be getting into the nature of reality there how there is levels of jurisdiction okay high levels of jurisdiction that goes right up to the highest level of jurisdiction which is natural law and the natural order of things and how wherever you anchor yourself in those jurisdictions as a being and how you observe the world from your per perception that actually creates the reality that you're interacting with and when you look at the stuff that Cal Washington has done, for example, which was his journey, my journey is a different one, you see, because I've had different experiences. But it's great to learn from people like Cal because he's actually gone through the entire process. And I've also had uh, Zoom calls with Cal before, so I know him personally also. I mean, although it's only online, but the guy is a great man and shares great wisdom, great knowledge from direct experience, okay? And he can give you a lot more details about the workings of this, and that's why I put my time in, to listen to people like Cal Washington, and fit the puzzle pieces together, how it applies to the situation in my country, because in we're not, in the case of Cal, uh, in Canada, where they have common law jurisdiction, whereas we here in Europe, we have, uh, doesn't come to my mind right now, um, the official, but it's a different, um, it's a different uh, law system and based also on constitutions. But basically, the world's business, Mr. Beale, as it's said in the 1976 movie Network. So that's what you can look forward to. Um, the Gnostic investigation into the pedo satanic criminal network is gonna look like this okay i'm going there which hurts them most sharing all of this information and actually going directly into my own experience with the court system okay this is the next step that i'm taking on i'm fully focused i've been working more the past few days than i've done for a long time and I'm really happy to be out of the group, out of the group dynamics, okay? Uh, wishing Errol, Ahmed, and all the others all the best in their life. However, I'm grateful to be outside of the group and back as an individual um, because I've got work to do and um, experiences to go through and then share with the world because there's more urgent issues in the world right now and serving the cause for the world and speaking up for the children that don't have a voice and don't know what's going on and especially for the elderly who also don't have a voice i have got a voice and i'll make it loud and i'll make it clear and i've got a lot of um, intelligence in order to convey the message of freedom for humanity in the way i do it without any fear because there is nothing to fear that's the most important and it takes nothing to join the crowd it takes everything to stand alone and right now i'm standing alone right uh, a lot i don't fit in anywhere and people think i'm crazy i'm nuts and i think that's a good sign that the collective see me as that nutty crazy guy 
that means I'm getting somewhere because it's only their demons talking to me because no one tells me who I am or what my issues are I can listen but when it's just you're crazy then that's a little bit intellectually primitive let's say it's so. and I'm a self-reflective guy myself anyway so um, I'll always take on board and um, hear what people have to have uh, to tell me and then I can change my behavior and I've changed my behavior so much over the years so I've got a track record on working on myself and I think that's the time now is really important that we work on ourselves but don't be intimidated by what other people think about you so if you are in a lonely place yourself too don't worry I'm there with you <laughs> Um, I'm lonely also, I don't have anyone to talk to right now on the level of consciousness that I'm working on and trying to make a difference in the world and um, doing the best I can to become a better human being and um, be good to myself every day, uh, I'm trying that and um, yeah, it's not time for friends right now it's time to act because humanity needs it and the planet needs it and I give I swear I swear on the truth and I give my word that I do everything for the freedom of humanity I do everything for freedom of earth and I invoke the one and I invoke the force of the one and only highest source I invoke the watchers as well as I invoke the angels and all spiritual entities that watch over us that this psychopathic class doesn't get their way because sovereign beings are standing up that know about the highest level of the law that is the natural order that's why I invoke and they're all with me and we're gonna take all of you down mafia your game is over queen of england your game is over and i'm not afraid of any of you we got it and we're just doing what we need to do and rest assured that we have the power to overcome everything have a great day, and like it is here, good night.